I thought you were... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're, we're back to normal. We're back to normal. Oh, God. Oh, That's it. Last chance to move your asses out of here. With my boot. You bitch! Break it up! Damn, then these two got the meat here, huh? Calm down, calm Normally down. I like a cap. Can you believe just yesterday those two were best friends? What happened? Last night someone stole Teresa's flower. Or oh, me. A major harvest, too. She could have made a killing. Without it, she got nothing. No flower, no sales, no money. She and her son won't last another month without the income. Oh, she must be desperate to blame her best friend. <laughs> Ex-best friend. But it's just an accusation. It's not like she's got any evidence. She's a bit hot-headed, that's for sure. But you'd have to ask her yourself. Seems like Teresa needs some help. Think she needs help? Teresa? Why? Looking to earn some cash? What? That's not why I... You're a pilgrim, aren't you? You guys don't do anything for free. Says How who? much they fork over for the water? She'll be near a shop. Uh, thanks for the tip. This is where the, the, the cyclones have been picked up. Hello. Good morning, pilgrim. Have I already thanked you for... for the water? I hear you were robbed. By my best friend, no less. I'm devastated. Really. <sighs> And why on earth would you jump to that conclusion about your best friend? I didn't want to. But who else could it be? She was storing it for me to keep it safe, she said. And now it's conveniently gone. Me and my boy are left with nothing. If only she'd admit it and return the flower, I'd forgive her. I swear I would. Lord is my witness. If she's in trouble, I'll help her. But she's a stubborn one. We've had quite a harvest, too. Would have had us living on Easy Street, but now... <laughs> now we'll starve. Don't worry, Teresa. I will save you. How did Anna explain the disappearance of the flower? Theft, not a disappearance. And she didn't explain anything. She's lying through her teeth. How do you know? See it in her eyes. It's a lie. I look back and realize Anna's been a liar all along. How about the end? Do you have any proof that Anna did this? Not exactly, but was in her shed, wasn't it? In here, I thought she was doing me a favor offering to store it. Turns out she was just making it easier for her to screw over me and my boy. <sighs> Talk to her, would you? She won't listen to me. Maybe a stranger could get around her stubbornness. We can put this behind us if she gives it back. And if she stole it because she was hungry, she can keep what she needs. Her shed's near the water tower. Please, go talk to her. I'll think about it. All right, all right. A friend's betrayal hurts the most. <clears throat> Quite the slave driver, huh? <laughs> FBI, Anna. open up. Anna, I just want to talk. Go away. <clears throat> I said open up! Talk to me and I'll go away. It won't take long. I said, open the damn door! Come on! Open the door! You ass. You asked for this. I'm coming in whether you like it or not. How the fuck did I grapple onto there earlier then, bro? What the fuck? Can't do it now, but I did it before? I probably have to go up through there. Sometimes if I stay out Alright, we're working on monkey ass. No okay, right here. City. Right? Oh no. Come on. Okay, right here. Right here. My monkey ass will not let me. Ne never mind. My monkey ass can't climb from here. There we go. Ah, uh -oh, my ass cheeks. Parkour man. Oh. All right. So now what? Here? No. Here. No! Well, 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 what do you want me to do, game? Was I here to believe in God before all this? Is that not where I'm, I'm supposed to go? Is that like what's the point of it? Yeah. 
Uh, okay. So how do I, how, how is the boy supposed to get his way in, huh? It has to be from here, but you don't want to grab anything. Oh, oh, maybe this side? Ah, going. Sometimes I wake up at night and forget what follows and happens. Hello. Please, just go away. Can we please talk? I'd like to help. Help what? Remind me of my poverty? My drinking problem? Or that I'm a heinous flower thief? I'm not making assumptions. I just want to hear your story. I want to hear the truth. The truth? You want the truth? Here's the truth. I would never rob a friend. Never. And that's the end of my story. Did Teresa tell you about the half year's wages she owes me? I needed Teresa to sell that flower so she could pay me. Why would I risk everything? My well-being, Teresa and her sons, by stealing it. Aren't you best friends? I thought you were best friends. So did I. Until today. Since the fall, we've been close. I lost my child. She lost her husband. I... I became very depressed. Suicidal. Teresa got me through it. She even cooked for me and my husband and drank heavily. I can't believe she'd accuse me of this. She'd mentioned you were storing the flower. I figured it was the best way to keep watch over it, make sure I got paid. So we put it in my shed near the tower. I went to check on it this morning and... It's... Yeah. I think oh, the husband, my... You didn't see anyone lurking nearby or anything suspicious? You don't think I would have mentioned that by now? I can only tell you that I did not steal that flower. I wouldn't do that to Teresa or to myself. The only strange thing was that nothing else was stolen. My buckwheat, my beets, untouched. Whoever it was only wanted the flower. Interesting. Mind if I go check out the shed? Maybe it just needs to be looked at with a fresh pair of eyes. Knock yourself out. Okay. Time to go investigate. Can I go out for this dude? Yes, I can. I wonder what the hell is going on in the central loop with the peacemaking. Alright, who's been snooping in this shit, huh? Doors unlocked. Somebody must have had keys. Mm, no footprints. <laughs> One set of shoes. Thief worked alone. Got some tools. Come on. The rest of the supplies are untouched. They knew exactly what they were looking for. It's the husband, bro. I'm, set, I'm, I'm just calling it right now. It's the fucking husband. Nothing's broken. Someone was very familiar with this place. I'm telling you, Aiden, it's the husband. Flower trail on the ground. Bags dragged this way. It's the husband. The butcher's men are high on some weird kind of drug. He's a drunk, so it has to be him. <sighs> Trail ends here. Who had the keys to the shed? Me and the husband. Boy, I say the husband. Nobody else? You sure? There's no sign of forced entry, Anna. Whoever took the flower had the keys. Or made copies. So you do think it was me? No, it's your husband. It's not out of the question. I thought at least you would believe me. What next? How do I return something I haven't taken? It's your husband. You can't draw blood from stone. It's your husband. Calm down and think. Who else would do this? And why? It's your husband. Help me help you. Unless Teresa's right after all. It's your husband. Hard to tell. Someone from the bazaar, perhaps? If it wasn't you. His daughter. That guy's capable of it's anything. It's your husband. And then there's Benny, Teresa's son. And that's all I can come up with. What about your husband? Who's this Dodger you mentioned? He's a snake, that's why. One of the shadiest characters in the bazaar. Come to think of it, he took an interest in Teresa's grain harvest recently. Asked a lot of questions. Never paid any mind before. I should talk to him. You'll find him at the bazaar, but watch your back. He doesn't give a rat. Well, he ain't gonna do shit to me, bro. What about Teresa's son? Why would he do this? Normally, I wouldn't suspect him. Nice kid. I've known him all his life. 
He's like a son to me. But lately, he's been quiet, like he's got something to hide. And maybe he does. But no, Benny wouldn't have done this. It would break Teresa's heart, and he knows it. And even if he had taken the flower, why? That seems to be the central question for everyone involved. Where can I find Benny? Not sure. He's been making himself pretty scarce. That said, I'm sure Teresa's got him guarding their storehouses. Make sure what meager goods they have left are safe. I'll look for him. Since you helped my husband, I'll share a secret with you. The storehouses are full of traps. So be careful. My shed has nothing of the sort, which is probably why it was so easy to steal from. And as for Benny, Teresa keeps close tabs on her son. Ask her. Wait, how did I help her husband? Who is her Can husband? Can you tell me where you were the night the flower was stolen? At home with my husband. There's not much more to say. You're not much more or nothing? Nothing. I was home with my husband. End of story. Accusations are devastating enough around here. I'm ruined. And not if we find the flower and prove it was someone else. Perhaps. But in my experience, the damage has been done. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what I can find out. At least I can help her out. That's my question. Thank you for that. The stolen flower led to here, though. So I had to be her husband. Like, who else would it be? Where's Teresa? A friend in need is a friend indeed. You're not gonna tell me where your your son is? Come on. All right, I guess I'll have to go to this muck then over here at the bazaar. You know me? Yeah. I was hoping I'd bump into you, actually. Let me introduce myself. I'm Rahim. I run Sparker, the first post-apocalyptic yeah. dating service. A dating service? I could use a little something-something, if you know what I mean. Uh, tell me. Oh, I'll gladly explain. Get you up to speed? Okay, I'll admit it. I made you a card already. Whoa. What? You trying to date me or something? Like, come on. That's what uh, I mean. Profile on, on a card. What on earth for? Well, it's my job. The world I'm may have ended. Like there, the most is. of our loved ones have turned into bloodthirsty Drawing? monsters roaming the streets, but uh, that doesn't mean people have stopped being lonely. I mean, shit. That's exactly why they're lonely these days. You mean to tell me there was a time when people weren't lonely? Imagine a world where people actually went out. To work, shopping, walking their dog. And on top of that, they had dating apps. Um, uh, apps? Okay, okay, never mind. What I'm trying to say is that before the shit hit the fan, we used to socialize. There were parties. You know, when people got together just for the sake of being together. And of course, to get laid. <laughs> now, everyone just stays home behind closed doors because, well, meeting new people can result in getting clubbed in the skull for a bucket of water. How do your cards so, work? Well, let me get this straight. Your cards help people meet. Basically, yes. People who want to meet other people come see me. I draw them. I'm pretty good at that. Or at least, that's what I'm told. Then, I put their portrait on a card. Right and there. Display it on it's my right there. Board. If someone's interested, they get in touch with me and... Voila! A romance is born. Not always for very long, but... Uh, I guess that's something that hasn't changed. But right now, I'm in deep shit. And I desperately need help. Of course you do. Some shithead trying to imitate me forged several Sparker cards. They scattered them around town. That's infringement. It's ruining my reputation and disorienting my customers. I need someone to collect these fake cards for me and bring them back. I heard that talentless hack was killed in a dark zone, so he won't be bothering me again. And I managed to find most of the fake cards. But there are two left I couldn't get hold of. 
bring them to me and I'll give you the card I've made for you. Check the map on the wall. I've marked possible locations for the fake cards. I thought my biomarker was broken. It's in the dark zone? Oh, you're the spitting fucker. All right, so how could I deal with this? Motherfucker somehow sees me. Not quite fair, but all right. Is it that? I mean, what else would it be, right? Just fucking flip through the fucking wall to save my life. And let's go hide back here real quick. You can't get me from here. You can't touch me. Ow. You know what? Okay, let me give you a present. To suck your bitch ass up. How you guys like that, huh? Yeah, I don't like cooking up alive, huh? That's what you get for being loud. You guys over there, you, you guys have to too. You didn't die? You motherfucker. Shit, what I've gotten myself into. <laughs> yeah, burn, motherfucker, burn. What did uh, the fucking spitting zombie there? Yeah, you guys can have that too. What did the spitting fucker that I dropped in? I mean, is this corpse up there? I mean, it could be. Now, what? Let's go check. Oh, it is up here. Let me just... Can you guys get up over there, please? I'm kind of busy here. Ooh, we got some thickies in here? Why are you doing that? Ooh, even more thickies. We got the zombies on my... Oh, hello! Oh, oh, oh. Goodbye. 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 Oh, that was it? Alright. Mind by me. Uh, anything else I can join? Oh, hello there. Down you go. Off with your head. Okay, where? Where's everyone else? I don't see it. Let me just go ahead and join these crystals real quick. That's mine now. <coughs> oh, my immunity deal is low? Let's just fix that. Uh, immunity booster. Pop that shit, baby! Pow! <coughs> Pow! Oh, here it is. A sparker card. I know exactly who's looking for this. I don't even need to wait for it to get nighttime, bro. I'm that, I'm that strong. Ooh, a box of tools. You can sell that for money. Ooh, old world manual. I know there's some zombies still left alive. Oh, hello there. 
Let me just go ahead and Ooh, we got we got something purple over there. I see that shit. Oh hello, whoa! Back, back up, son! I didn't think you'd invaded my personal space now, did I? Yo. Does that even heal me? Oh, it does heal you. Not by a lot, but still heals nonetheless. Wait. Didn't open this one yet. Can't believe I missed it. Can of beads. Alright, so we just got this place to explore now. Yup, kick your ass, kick your ass down. Get out of here, chump. Ooh, we got some valuables in here, huh? Alright, time to lock it. Oh, found it. Hell yeah! Easy clap. Man, at this point, I don't even think you need to upgrade fucking lockpicks, man. Because it's not even that hard to lockpick in this game. Sure, I mean, sure, I break my lockpicks every now and then, but... Not as often as you think. Got a break in there. Alright, this better be something good, though. Oh, found it. Never mind. Gotta go up a little bit more. Serious? There you go, found the sweet spot. We got a wristwatch. Old world vodka, firm shoes. You're telling me that was a purple chest? You gotta be serious. You can't be serious. Some sickies. We haven't opened this yet. Even why is there so many sickies in this house, man? Whoever whoever lived here must have been fucking quite quite a smoker. That's everything, right? Yeah, alright. Time for me to dip. Why does that go out that door? I can't, dude. This game camping. Oh, wait. There's some, there's some dudes from the Zombrisky that killed over there. Alright, let's go! Alright, that's everything done with this place. Oh, it's you! Hey, little one. How are you? I'm not little. But hey, wait. We've met before. I'm Aiden. What's your name again? Maya. What are you doing here, Maya? Looking for bandits. Gonna beat the crap out of them. But I'm hiding from the infected right now. Ah. So, what did these bandits do to you? They stole lots of stuff. But the most important thing was... Oh, they're here! There oh, okay. she is. You're you done following us around, you little shit. Come on. Told ya. You're dead, kid. Don't worry. How about I beat him up? Hide. This won't take long. You guys out here picking on little girls? Come on, man. You better oh. bag the fuck up. <laughs> oh, probably real thing. No! Landed on his ass, bro. He's sitting up. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, he's probably on top of that truck, huh? Are you up here, buddy? Where, where'd he go? 
I only found two corpses. All right, who cares about that? Let's go. Let's go talk to little Maya again. Look at me. People will always complain. Hello, Maya. Thanks. That was amazing. And gross too. And they're the ones who stole your stuff. No, there were more of them before. The rest probably haven't. What's this most important thing they took? My music box. Why does this mean too much? Why is it so important to you? It belonged to my mother. That's all I have left of her. It must be valuable. That does sound important. You need to find it, and I'll let you keep it if you do. Now you can you have it. You did save my life. The bandits went into that building, overlooking a construction site on William the Ninth Road. You've got to get it from them. If you won't, then I will. All right, little, little Maya. Little, little, I mean, my lady, don't worry. I'll handle them. If you can't find them, just stop and listen. The music box plays a melody like this. I'll keep that in mind. But they won't be there during the day. Go at night. They always go back to that building at night. Why don't I take you home? Where do you live? I'll go to the bazaar by myself. I'm not a baby. If you don't want to keep the music box, you could sell it there. It's worth a lot. Why would I do that, Maya? I'll give it back to you. Can I not give it back to you, little Maya? Come on. What do you got? Hmm? Yeah, you know what? Sure. I got. I'll, I'll fucking swim in the cash right now. Fuck it. Aiden, it warms my heart to see a treasured friend. You getting sentimental on me? I have a mission for you. You have to defeat an oh, army of virals and then jump into fire. The fuck is that? Come on, man. I like the jump. Jump? From how high? Uh, what? I'm jumping into fire, aren't I? <laughs> you got me. I'll be damned. And here I was thinking you were a stiff pilgrim. What do you need? Teresa's flower was stolen, and I want to find out who did it. Teresa's flower was... What the fuck? Okay, you've got my attention. What do you know about a woman named Anna? What, the one who works for Teresa? Not all that much. Her husband sometimes sits in on our card games. He never said boo about her. Not even a few pints in. That says something right there. You know where Benny might be? Do I look like his mother? Believe me, he's on top of my where are they now list. He went down in flames in our last card game. He almost literally bet the farm. And lost. So if you're looking for that flower... It's not Teresa's or Benny's no more. It's mine. The kid owed it to me. And if it's missing, it was stolen from me. Aha. Uh -huh. So Benny's in your debt. Big time. Up to his ears, you might say. In flower. Or you think he stole it? Could be. He's a dumb kid who might think that will stop me from trying to collect. I need to find him then. Ask Mother Teresa. She's usually got the boy on a short leash. Except for poker nights, clearly. So now you know I have the most skin in this game. If that flower isn't found, I am the big loser. So maybe check out Teresa's storehouses. Hmm, seems like just the place a dumb kid like Benny would think he could hide. And if you do get your hands on the flower, just kindly bring it straight to me. I'll pay you handsomely for the service, of course. But it will save everyone a lot of grief and... Hey... I get my flower. We can put this behind us. Hmm. How dare they close the passage to the center? We are free people. Hmm. Good seeing you. Alright, let's go to this one since we're closer to it, I guess. Unless they just tell me the exit. 
I know, it's like legit right. No, uh, no, it's telling me that. I gave something. you money to buy water, and what, what did you do? The card was good for me. How should I know? Damn. Why, why are they so far? Uh, let's go, let's just go ahead and do this quest then. This, this, I'm pretty sure this side quest right here has been here since the fucking beginning. I just never did it because I, I was too spooked to go out at night. But now I'm a big strong man, so it shouldn't hurt me too bad. Yeah, this is the one at the bottom at the beginning. I don't believe you. You never liked him. <laughs> is everything all right? I can hear you a mile away. None of your business. It is sorry my business. Sorry about her. Save your sorry for Theodore. You better find him right now, or else. Monica, maybe this is for the better. You don't get to tell me what's better, but I'm telling you, you better get Theodore out of there. Come on. Do you really want that? You think life is hell on earth now? You wait and see how I make you feel if Theodore comes to any harm. Who's Theodore? Theodore is the most brutal motherfucker in the bazaar. Should be in a PK prison. Fuck you, Will. He's my boyfriend, not yours. So then, what happened that might be better this way? Yeah, tell him, Will. I... I couldn't watch. This brute hooking up with my sister and... Will left Lord Theodore in a dark zone. And now he'll fucking go and get him out! Monica, wait. You're a pilgrim, right? That place is soaked with chemicals. Hell, Theodore's probably dead already. You want me dead too? Even if I manage to find him, the asshole will just kill me. Pilgrim, would you... Would you get that jerk out of there, please? Man, but you just said if he makes it out, he'll kill you. I have no choice. Look, there's more. I'm pregnant. I found out this morning. Theo doesn't know yet. Well, okay. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. He lives in an apartment on Old Shambles Street, about 200 have... meters north of here. <laughs> does that have to do Theodore with... should be on the first floor. Wait until nighttime. It'll be easier for you. Hopefully he's holed up somewhere away from the biters. And one more thing. I love Theodore, you know, but he really can be dangerous. Be careful. If it puts cut the shell, I'll, I'll chop off his neck, you know? He ain't, he ain't gonna do much to me. You can't touch this, bro. Alright, let's go do this shit. Oh. So is the Dark Zone his house? Because he's... The man told me the, the fucking guy's address. I don't need to know the address. I just need to know. Are you one of those shit Uh, nope, 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 nope. I'll just be right here. The chance to go fuck off. This whole area is contaminated? <laughs> Alright, looks like I'm about to have uh, this junk on standby. Is that is the guy who's screaming Theodore? I mean, it could be. Inhibitor container nearby. Nope, that ain't him. I see the inhi inhibitor container. I see that. Well, I don't see it with my own eyes, but you know what I mean. Oh, hello there. I heard your ass, Smithlin. Good night. In the meantime, let's go see what's in here. I'm surprised it didn't tell me that I, my immunity is running low already. Speaking of immunity, how, what's that? Okay, it's going down every fucking second, it looks like. Who the fuck are you? Come closer and I'll kill you! 
Will and Monica sent me. Fucking Will! He better fucking run! I get out of here, and he's dead me! Oh, wait, calm down. Fucking rip his guts out and tie him in a fucking bow! Ah, oh. Actually, um... <sighs> Monica's pregnant. Wait. What? With your kid. Wait. Are you telling me... Oh, wait. ...that I... He wants to be a dad? I'm gonna be... You're gonna be a father. Well, fuck me! Oh, damn! That's I fantastic! I thought man has gotta be a dead beast. All right. Why didn't you say so at the beginning? I would have, but... You were a little, uh... Worked up there at first. What if there's not only one? Maybe it's twins. Or triplets. What's your name? If it's a boy, I want to name him after you. Name him Theodore Jr. I don't name him after a stranger. Call him, I don't know, Theodore Jr. Of course. <laughs> Carry on the family tradition. Now get out of here. Monica's waiting. And Will, um, he has uh, an apology for you. For Fon No apology. I thought this man was going to be a deadbeat. Around. Yeah, like guys do. No harm, no foul. He, he wasn't kidding him around. around. You kidding me? Hurt my kids, uncle. Now why would I go and do a thing like that? <sighs> I better go propose to Monica. We don't get married. People will talk. People can be so cruel, you know? Oh, okay, so that's it. That's a whole ass definition of do not judge a book by its cover, huh? Wait, you closed the door on me. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Imagine if the man just locked me in here instead. I'm here for my inhibitor! Yeah, baby! Give me that shit. Don't let me turn. Is that it? Uh, I'm not gonna bother with that trash can. We'll put it in stamina. Fuck it. I got my drop kick. That's all I wanted for y'all. Oh, there it is. <laughs> 